My name is Tyson Makala. I'm an associate professor in the College of Architecture and Planning. I teach architectural history, theory, and criticism courses, uh, undergrads in Boulder through doctoral students here in Denver. There's a number of things, and I just wish that more of my colleagues would support and take advantage of the Writing Center. Um, it's wonderful, you can tell the students all you want, you know, give them advice, etc., etc., but it's great to have a backup, like, you know, professionals from the Writing Center come and say, you know, uh, or reinforce what you're telling them, that this is the way to do it, and it's great to have them. Also, I have the Writing Center, people come in, and I have a peer review of essay, of the essay drafts of the students, and it's so wonderful to have them there as a backup for footnotes, sources, I think it's very important for the Writing Center to come and talk about um, academic integrity. Uh, that's an issue that is something we need to keep thinking about. Um, I think the students also become aware of the Writing Center. They're invited to come, you know. It's a different thing when they, you're just, they're just told to go to a website, but if you have a representative from the Writing Center come to class, introduce themselves, they put a name, they put a name to a face, and then they and they know where the Writing Center is, and they're more likely to make appointments, and this is what I've found. So the one thing I would suggest is that the Writing Center people do come to classes and introduce themselves right in the beginning of the class. Once they go there a few times, they might need somebody that they're able to work with very well. Obviously, there's different personalities involved and different expectations. So if the student goes to the Writing Center and, and makes that connection, I think it's a, a huge advantage to them. The College of Architecture and Planning, I teach in the Department of Architecture, and the professionals, we have them come in, we consult with them nationally and locally, and there's two things that they always say that are a major weakness or something that, not, not, let's not say weakness, but something that the students should certainly uh, think about and work on, and that is uh, communication and collaboration. And communication is writing. A lot of people in architecture think they're going to go to architecture and not have to write because they feel not very secure about their writing skills. But every day you have to write. You do have to do summaries, you have to do uh, proposals, you have to write proposals, you have to orally present proposals to clients, you have to respond to uh, say there's a problem at a work site. You have to be able to write a concise and clear report explaining what your side of the situation is, uh, always talking to other, you know, other designers, landscape architects, architects, the zoning people at the city, you know, so you write every day, and just recently a, uh, five of the students went to one of the larger offices, and the student asked, what is, what would you like the students to most be improved in when they, when they graduate? And the principal of the firm said, teach them to write. And so I, I think that also drove it home. So I, I think the writing center needs to be integrated even more into the classrooms, and because it is such a challenge, because some students think that writing is not important. Thanks. And that is a huge mistake.